Classified unboxing is one of the hardest things to accomplish in Go Simulator. Most people would think that classified unboxing is all about luck, when I can tell you that classified unboxing is in fact a skill. There needs to be some time, patience and dedication needed in order to get to the caliber where you can start unboxing a load of classifieds, whichever you want, whenever you want. As you see on my previous video, I have pulled a total of 25 sandstorms, but I promise you, you can do this too, because I have spent some time being patient, being dedicated, being motivated, and then all this time that I spend inside the game pays off. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to spend all day playing the game, but you just playing the game and make some progress is already going forward. So there's no such thing as rushing, there's no such thing as luck, because it's all skill. So in this video, I will be going through my step-by-steps -step and be giving you my personal tips and tricks how you can unbox your own classifieds. So the first step ever is the preparation step. And in order to get prepared, you must be gum grinding. Now, gum grinding means that you are grinding items to convert for gums. The best gum grind method will be in the back door because not only it's consistent, but it's also profitable. What do I mean by profitable? It means that if you're using loot gums to grind in the back door, that means whenever you go converting, not only that you will get more loot gums in return, but you will also get other gums alongside with it. The gums that you're looking for specifically are the loot gums, the X gum, the lucky gums, the boss gums, or even lucky, the rift gums. The loot gums, well, it's pretty obvious. You're gonna need that for rebirth grinding, which I'll be talking about in the next step, as well as for gum grinding, which obviously you're gonna need gums to make gums. The glitchy X gum, we're gonna be using it for gem grinding, which will come right after the rebirth grind. And the lucky gums, we're going to be used to unbox, which we'll be talking about that later in the video. As for the boss gums, well, that gum is more of a value gum, so you can use it for trading or for events or do whatever you want with it. These are pretty much the four important gums you're going to need for the whole grind. Of course, here and there, throw in some zoom gums, nitro gums and bunny gums when you're doing rebirth grinding, when it comes to some quests. Oh, and how much gum grinding do I need to do? Well, just as much as you can, because there is actually no wrong way of grinding gums at all. And there's no wrong ways of determining how much gums you need to grind. In other words, whenever you run out of gums, then just grind some more. If you feel like you had enough, then stop. It's just as simple as that. But just make sure you have enough to last quite a long time though. And that being said, let's move on to the next step. The second step is to actually do certain quests that will help unboxing in the future, such as Grands, Bovens, and Jovens. Now, those three are the one-time quests. Grands gives you a gum hotkey, which will be useful for saving time when you're activating gum each time. Instead of clicking into your inventory and activating gum, you could just use the hotkey and gum will activate for you. Boven and Joven will give you extra space inventory for your pets, which will come in handy to fit more pets into your inventory whilst unboxing during your gum time. And after you've done those three quests, now it's time to move on to the third step. Your third step is to actually rebirth grind. Now, rebirth grind is super tedious. Each rebirth could take up to four or five hours long, average. Now, do you need a specific pet in order to rebirth grind? Well, the answer is no, because rebirth grinding, you're basically playing the game again. So if you've got through the game the first time, then you should be able to get through the game the second time. Now, what rebirth perks should I consider picking? 
Well, for the first rebirth, you always go for the Master Hunter, and for the second rebirth, you always go for the Ghostly Vision. After second rebirth, the first 10 rebirths, you should consider getting Pet Evolution, Accelerated Parts, or Ectobit Tycoon. The Pet Evolution, you can pretty much never go wrong with it. It gives you 5% more Pet Boost, so you get a bit of speed, a bit of Ecto Conversion for all the worlds. So you can never go wrong with this perk. Pretty much the most optimal perk out of the three. Accelerated parts increase your vacuum speed by 10%. Usually for the players who doesn't really have good stats at all, which 10% more speed is a pretty significant amount and will help you progress when you're in the backdoor part of the rebirth grind. And finally, the Ectobit Tycoon, which gives you more Ectobit in the backdoor, allowing you to upgrade your gears more quicker, despite having, let's say, a not, not really a good pet setup without any classifieds. For example, dev heads or ghostly vision pets or atoms. It doesn't really matter what pets you use, as long as you can progress pretty well with it, then you're pretty much good to go. Plus, this is all about rebirth grinding, so we're not getting to the gems part yet, we're not going to the classified part yet. This part is by far the most tedious part, and I highly recommend you do play with your friends, uh, just hang around, and honestly, relax. That's the whole point of playing the game, just for relaxing, just for entertainment, and yeah, and if you feel bored, then just play a different game because obviously nobody expects you to just grind this all day non-stop. Neither do I. Nobody's got time for that. So yeah, of course, rebirth grinding is important. And by the time you get to rebirth 15 or so, now it's time to change your picks. Now the three following picks are the Pet Evolution, the Ecto Token Tycoon, or the Soul Tycoon. Now these two tycoons, Ecto Tokens Tycoon and Soul Tycoon, it is up to you whether you want to grind bosses in the main hub or grind bosses in the ghost world. However, I can give you both pros and cons for them both. In the main hub, the pro is you get 25% more gems when converting. However, the con is, is not really consistent because the main hub bosses has been interfered with the racing as well as there is longer cooldown time or should I say event spawn time. In the ghost world is more consistent, quicker cycle, but the downside is you get 25% less gems. So it is up to you how you really want to grind because there's no rights or wrongs in terms of choice. But if you can balance them both and just do both the grinds in both worlds, then that's pretty fantastic. Or if you're just not sure, then just go for the pet evolution. Because again, like I said, 5% for speed and conversion for all the worlds. This actually does help you grind the remnant zone, which is the only perk that gives you more conversion rate in the remnant zone, allowing you to buy the new pack, the 25 billion pack or higher in the future so that also comes in handy too and honestly you don't really need any pets to grind the remnant zone although the pets are most importantly used to get a higher conversion rate meaning more currency so basically continue doing this for up to 55 to as much rebirths as you can and if you feel like you need to stop again do so and with that being said Let's move on to the next step. After you rebirth grind and get a decent amount of tokens or whatnot, then what you consider doing next is gem grinding. Now gem grinding, there's actually two methods of gem grinding. Method number one is the boss hop converting method, which the tycoons that I mentioned from the rebirth grind will help boost those numbers or you can continue gum grinding but the gum you're looking for is the rift gum now the rift gum synergizes with loot bags what do i mean by that it means that the rift gum works well together with the loot bags what loot bags are you looking for specifically well the loot bags you're looking for specifically is either the Jolly Roger loot bags or the Anonymous loot bags. These two loot bags gives a significant number of gems when you open them all within the two minutes. 
I would highly recommend saving up 1500 to 2000 loot bags but if you've got more than that or if you can open through all of that or more than that then great. But this method is only a one-time method, meaning that once you've used it, then you're going to have to grind for it again, which can take a while because the odds of getting a Rift Gum is 1 in 25,000 and grinding these loot bags can take a lot of time. So that's where Boss Gums comes into play. But I highly recommend trading for those resources rather than grinding for those resources because grinding will probably take longer than the rebirth grind altogether to be honest plus with the rebirth you can keep it it's forever and doing the riff and the bag method is only a one-time use so use the rift gum wisely and the question is how much gems do i need to get well, the amount of gems depends on which classified you're going for. The formula is 100 divide by the classified rates, round up and then multiply it by the cost of the crate. This will give you a rough estimate of how much gems you need. And what I highly recommend you do is don't just aim for that number of gems. Try aim for at least two times more, giving you a better chance of unboxing a classified. In other words, you go over the statistics. Now the unboxing part can be a little bit anxious for some people, first time going for the classified, but if you're rebirth grinding, then you pretty much done most of the steps because if you failed, then all you need to do is gum grind and gem grind and that's really it. You don't need to do the rebirth grinding anymore because you've already done most of the parts. But if you want to do more rebirths, you can, it's up to you. But if you feel like you've done enough, then just stop. So for the classified unboxing, what you want to do is you want to get an auto clicker that is super duper fast. I'll link the one that I use on the description and you want to align your mouse with the purchase button now for those of you who has the quick unboxing game pass i highly do recommend you get that one because it will actually just make you unbox a lot of the time and able to skip and keep unboxing a lot of the time but you gotta be careful in case you crash so unboxing can take between one second to i don't know how long because at this point it's all about luck but then the skill part is to calculate how much gems you need, what you need to do, and the biggest skill of all is the patience that you have. And also don't forget to activate your gum every two minutes. Make sure you have a stopwatch or a clock or something like that. Set it for two minutes and then when the time is up, get off the shop, trash your inventory, reactivate the gum and go in again until you get the classified. And that is pretty much it for today's video because I actually did learn a lot of things when doing a lot of research, putting this video together and everything and unboxing classifieds like crazy because that's pretty much all I do inside Go Simulator, just pulling classifieds after classifieds. If you need any gum grinding tips, I'll leave the link to that video on the description. Auto clickers, classified guides and everything else will also be on the description if i missed out anything or any important information please drop a comment down below because you know i could end up making a follow-up video to this one where i missed out all the key points and just adding it right there because this video is just basically me working with other people to try and make pretty much the ultimate classified unboxing guide for players who is interested to unbox classifieds. Basically a beginner's guide. Anyways, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making these videos. And I appreciate if you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for something like this in the future. Good luck unboxing. Peace out.